my name is Amy. And I'm Elizabeth. And we're here from the Salish Sea School to introduce you to a new, really fun game called the Watershed Heroes Action Game. This game is going to teach you all about the pollutants in the stormwater that ultimately end up in the Salish Sea. And also, it's going to show you how you can help prevent this. This game is perfect for grades 6 through 9 and takes 45 to 50 minutes to set up, play, and clean up. Instructions to the game are written on the back of the watershed vocabulary card. This board represents an area of land that drains to a large body of water. This represents a watershed. In this game, you will be taking actions that add or remove pollution from this watershed. Each game comes with two dice. Use one die for two to three players and use two dice for four to five players. These are the player pieces. They start at the top of the watershed here in the mountains and they move to the bottom of the watershed here by the sea. Each player starts with a cup containing three brown beads. These beads represent pollution and this is how you will be scored. Your goal is to have as few beads as possible in your cup at the end of the game. This brown powder and this food coloring are pollutants that you will put on the watershed game board while playing the game. This sponge is used to remove pollution during the game. It does not have to be wet to work. This spray bottle is used at the end of the game to represent rain and snow melt running down the watershed. These black cards are your action cards. You will draw one of these on each turn to tell you what actions you will take. The colored solution pollution cards are read after the action card only when you land on a colored space. Let's play. So to play the game, we start with the person with the most recent birthday, and that's me. And I roll the die. And wow. I have six. Ooh, lucky. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I landed on a colored space. So first, I'm going to read the action card. And it says, you replace native trees or plants in your yard with non-native grass and plants. Native trees and plants help protect and clean the watershed. Add two shakes of brown powder to your watershed and one, two, and add four beads to your cup. Ooh, that was a bad Ooh, one. That was not good. Now it's your turn, Amy. Oh wait, and because it was a brown card, I also read that. So while I read this, you're gonna listen to see if I say any of the vocabulary words, and if I do, put your finger on your nose, and if you can define the vocabulary word using this sheet, then you get to take a bead out of your cup. Woohoo! Okay. Building roads to access forest for timber harvesting can create sediment pollution and create soil compaction. This decreases the ability of water to infiltrate soil, increasing sediment-laden runoff that can kill aquatic plants, algae, and animals. The solution, forestry roads should be built using best management practices to minimize soil disturbance and runoff. So, Pick can me. you please uh, define one of those vocabulary words? Sediment, uh -huh. dirt, or soil that washes down a watershed. Right on. So you get to take a beat out of your cup. Nice. And I'll put this one back on the stack. Your turn. Ah, oh, one. <laughs> All right. Stormwater action card for every Ooh, roll. Got a good one. Blue. You scoop your pet's poop every time. This helps keep harmful bacteria from washing into the watershed. Remove one dab of brown powder from watershed and three beads from your cup. Nice. One dab using the sponge. Yep. And you I only have two beads. You've got to remove them both. So now awesome. I'm empty. Oh, and I've got a lot. All right, my turn again. Three, four. And now I've reached the end. So now we're going to do the next step. And that is we get to take one more action to help clean up the watershed. And we look at all of the blue cards that we've already played, and some of them remove more than others. And so I see, here's one that removes three beads and brown powder. So I'm gonna use that one. 
It's that one, you scoop your pet's poop every time and help keep harmful bacteria out of the watershed. Remove one dab of powder and three beads from your cup. So I got to take one more action and you get to take another action as well. All right. And you can take the same or a different one if you want. Well, I'll definitely do the same then. Three beads from my cup and a dab of brown powder. Okay. Okay. And now that we're finished, we get to see what happens when we spray this down. So um, I'll start and we each get 10 sprays and we keep spraying until we've washed all of the watershed. The water rainstorm the begins. There it goes. Oh gosh. And this is storm water. This is storm water. This is polluted storm water. You can Washing see news. it's not clear, unfortunately. So anything that was left after those different actions that we took is going to wash in to whatever water body is at the bottom of our watershed. And here where we live, that goes directly into the Salish Sea. And we count up our beads in our cup. And you have one bead left over, which makes you a orca protector. And I have three beads, which makes me a puffin protector. Woohoo! Nice All right, good job. You can also choose to compare the color of your water with your other teams in your class water, and one of you might have cleaner or dirtier water. So you can do a class competition as well at the end. Yep, you can see which table group has the cleanest water at the end of the game. And that's how you play. When it's time to put everything away, rinse the game board to clean it off. You can stack the boards, but don't stack them facing the same direction because they'll stick together. So stack them with the mountains facing different directions. Then all of the cards can be stored with the beads and the cups in one baggie. And you can put the tape back on the top of the powder to keep the powder from coming out and store that in a baggie with the food coloring and the sponge. Oh, and the playing pieces go with the dice and the beads and the cards. So kind of the pollution parts go together in this baggie and the cards, the play pieces, the die, the beads, and the cups go in this baggie. Perfect. And now you're ready for to put them away until the next time. All right, everyone, thanks for playing. And thanks for being a watershed superhero.